We were starting to get a lot of pressure from the Federal Highway Administration that we needed to load rate all of our bridges. And I had four of the last remaining old steel trusses in Defiance County. We were gonna try to find a way to replace them rather than load rate them because that just seemed like wasted money. And so in our case, we had a local contractor replacing a bridge for the state. And so we contacted them to see about the possibility of buying the old beams. And they said, sure, we'll sell them to you at scrap price. So we bought them and then took them back to our yard. So that made a big difference in what we could afford to do. We have three of them in service that all came from that one ODOT bridge replacement project. And that was kind of our introduction to recycling steel beams. Skingham County has been using upcycled beams or bridges for a long time. With a population of only 86,000 and having one of the largest counties infrastructure-wise, we have to be creative in our bridge replacements. We've seen a tremendous cost savings from it. The structures kind of fit what's needed. We don't need a Cadillac on many of these roads. The average cost saving per bridge is, I'm going to say, at minimum of $50,000. We cut off the ends, we shorten the beams. Sometimes there's plates on top that we have to cut off. We'll have to drill holes for guardrail offsets. We'll have to drill some holes for diaphragms to tie all together. Those are the typical you know, modifications that we make to the beams. So in the end, the capacity of the bridge, safety is not a concern. And structurally, these are rock solid bridges. Those locations are on state routes that are often seeing hundreds of trucks a day, but they're going to locations where quite literally they might only see a hundred trucks in a year. Well, I have no safety concerns over using these beams. They're typically uh, a lot stronger than the, any beam I would put in that location. When you go from an 80 foot long bridge down to a 60 foot bridge with the same beam, you're making a stronger bridge. Well, these are a little stronger, they don't vibrate as much, there's no flexing, and the uh, concrete tends to last longer, there's less cracking in it. Well, this is not an interstate. This is not a high speed, high traffic application. And so in many ways, these bridge beams served that previously in their life, now they get to retire and carry a load once in a while. Well, the bridges that we built with upcycled beams have performed wonderfully. When you go out and look at them, they're beautiful bridges in my opinion. They, they turn out really nice. It's a benefit to our county, it's a benefit to our community, and we're not scrapping valuable products. These projects preceded ODOT's upcycling program. It helped us learn ahead of time. We've now since then been able to take delivery of some steel beams off of two ODOT projects, it's pretty likely that out of those two bridges, we might get enough steel for five or six. Being able to get the beams from ODOT is beneficial because we don't have to go out and look for them. And we actually, I don't even think we have to pay anything for them. They're given to us as long as we use them. If we go out and buy them, we have to pay at minimum scrap prices for it and sometimes more than that. Well, I'd like to see the future of this program expand so that you know other county engineers can utilize some of these beams. Although I, I don't want them to take the beams I want, but you know. For us, I think it has the capacity to meet quite a few of our bridge needs just in the sense of these ODOT bridges are often larger and so we can get multiple bridges out of one set of beams. I could see it being used quite a bit as we go forward. There's a need for this for other counties need it as well, not only in Ohio, but I'm sure throughout the nation, other county engineers could utilize this process to decrease the costs of their infrastructure and in a bridge replacement. So as we look back over our experience with those first three bridges, we learned a lot. Um, we found out it could work. It got us excited enough that we are we enrolled in ODOT's program. We're interested in continuing to replace bridges this way. I would encourage anybody that has questions about it, if they'd like more details to contact us, we'd be glad to share our experience or let you come take a look at them. We, we've enjoyed it. It's worked well for us and it's going to be a tool that we keep in our toolbox.